We're examining a test sheet. This test took place late October. She was driving seamlessly until she was about to do the exercise, left something behind. So what happened then, um, it's, it's a bit unusual. I mean, you know, not unusual, but something that she didn't expect. And uh, as a result, uh, she uh, clearly made, a, you know, some uh, major errors and, uh, and the assessor discontinued the driving assessment. Uh, so what it says here, the assessment was failed due to can the refused to attempt or is unable to perform any part of an exercise, which is a bit confusing, you know, when, when you say refuse, you know, it would be like she didn't want to do it, which was never the case, but that's the option that they've got in the software and that's not something that the assessor types separately. Second one was the uh, candidate caused a crisis or potential crisis. So she understeered a little bit. She was attempting to do a U-turn on the right-hand side. There was an intersection on the right-hand side and uh, she was attempting to do the U-turn. Now, firstly, she started turning a little bit too soon. And secondly, but most importantly, she understeered. So she didn't do the full lock turn. And as a result, she caught the curb and it was a pretty tight street. She's mismanaged her path, her flow and the movement as well. So, and that clearly caused her to fail. She did okay her looking and signaling and the vehicle management was okay as well. In other marks, you can tell that the first section was seamless, the uh, first driving section. She didn't lose one single point. And clearly, when she started the exercise, left some behind, I believe it was on Aberdeen Street in Northbridge. Unsafe, unsuitable or illegal low speed maneuver, three point turn, so low speed maneuver one, so LSM stands for low speed maneuver. Um, second one for movement, um, fails to stop precisely, hits curb, so that's where she sort of, you know, mismanaged her turning and, you know, went a bit too wide. And um, thirdly, path fails to track accurately, understeer LSM1, LSM2, so low speed maneuver one and low speed maneuver two. In the second part of the exercise, she scored pretty much everything here. I mean, you know, as she came back and, you know, went back to the place where she parked initially, where she started the exercise, there's some behind. Signal error when moving, misleading, turning, so she would have indicated a little bit early and uh, other road users would have potentially thought that she was standing on the street where she wasn't, so you know, she would have indicated a little bit too early. Um, and also flow, fails to proceed through manoeuvre, none or late looking on approach, so she didn't anticipate the intersection, so basically she approached the intersection, there was a giveaway situation, and she got there and then started to observe instead of anticipating on approach so that is very important now uh, the next one she failed to proceed through a maneuver too slow to respond and proceed approaching turns so that's within the same intersection and again movement the speeds up to five kilometers an hour inside of the roadworks which is you know not permitted and the vehicle management she was okay the rest of the sections were not assessed as the test was discontinued she didn't do well at that U-turn and obviously later on an approach with the intersection there was no proper anticipation that she was approaching the intersection and then thirdly uh, she was in the roadworks and you know she was doing 5k's over which is a little bit tough to judge because most cars would show a little bit higher speed on the you know speed gauge um, than what the true speed of, of your vehicle is but then again you know being roadworks We've got to be very cautious. And by the way, it doesn't even have to stay at 40 kilometers an hour. If you see road works, you've got to slow down until you pass that zone. Until the next time, drive safely. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.